How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Wolf. And we got Spoon versus Miso. Spoon versus Miso. And uh, they're just getting st things started here, so let's see how it goes. This is actually just completed earlier today in this week three season two league matchup. Spoon moving around really nice. <laughs> Kind of exactly how you should move with Miso, but then Miso surprises with a beautiful um, back, uh, uh, red right back flip there. It's gonna be 1 0. I don't get to see a lot of spoon fighting, so this is uh, this is new information for me. Need more data. And it looks like Spoon tried to do a jump there that Miso is typically accustomed to doing, and Miso just knew exactly where he was going to land and then planted it overhead, and boom, got him. Right in the button. Yeah, Spoon said, bumped. That's exactly right. And Spoon just having a really difficult time trying to assess range on Miso, but a lot of people have that struggle as Miso finishes that fight with high HP. Miso again, red parry into the upper diagonal. He wins that a lot. Going head to head uh, against Miso while he's in that red sitting stance in the triple red is very difficult. And right now, Miso has a very comfortable 4 0 lead. And heavy damage once again. That's going to be 5 0 Miso over Spoon. I think Spoon figured it out a little bit now, staying more cautious of that, not wanting to get completely obliterated by those reds anymore. And Spoon winning a parry off the red. Now it's going to be 5-1. But I'll tell you what, it's a bad gamble against Misa to take that fight. Like, you get excited about getting that one good parry, but you will lose most of those to me, so you got to figure out some other tactic that doesn't involve saber clashing. So you got to hit me. So between the hits, you got to avoid and wait for the right opportunity. Going head to head is very risky against me. So. Miso is also a prolific strafer. He's a he's a jumper. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of a boomer with other aspects of JK2, but he's got a whole channel I can link you to in the description below. And you get to see a lot of the things that he's been doing jumping and racing wise. But he brings some of that in the jumping, and you can see how fast and low he gets with some of this closure on a spoon. A spoon gets turned around there, fails to recognize the parry opportunity. And a backflip red. Missed lunge by Spoon. It's good that Spoon's kind of slowing down the tempo and controlling the fight a little bit better now, but Miso still wants to even pull ahead. 6-0. Uh, I think that that was a good swing there by Spoon. Staying out of range, but then coming back in with the red right. Being pretty conservative. See, th that's kind of Miso's attack, and I wouldn't try to do Miso's kind of same wheelhouse on Miso. That's another solid, so uh, solid, uh, solid shot there. Spoon once again with kind of lower health. It's gonna be 19-13.
And Spoon gets one. That's gonna be, I believe, six to two. And Miso pulls ahead seven. I believe that's gonna be seven two now. Ooh, nice shot there by Spoon, hitting with that diagonal and getting out. And so for the first time, I think, in this match, Spoon has some HP to trade, and then Spoon gets another kill there. I believe that's going to be 7-3. Spoon's getting on the board. See if he can make something happen. I think Miso's one of the few duelists where HP strat is irrelevant. He will fight the same exact way with low HP. Strategy does not change, it can kill you in one shot regardless. And that's gonna be 7 5, I believe. So we have Spoon making a statement, coming back. <clears throat> I think the key with Miso is you have to just be able to stay focused on whatever counter you- oh, Spoon with low HP. Whatever counter is working for you, whether it's going to be out-timing the red jumps, getting under the red jumps, getting your yellow hits between the red like, you have to hold on to the counter and just focus the whole match. That's- I think that's the key with Miso. But even then, Miso can still adjust and go into his yellow drag, which is- deadly in its own right, so it's a tough match, and Miso gets a match point here with nine points, and I don't know how many Spoon has exactly. I believe it's 9-5 right now. And Spoon's right to crouch into that and try to disrupt it with a red diagonal. And then a mid-air yellow sweep by Spoon. Very nice. So Spoon's going to hang in there at 9-6. Now a lot of comebacks have happened at this point, so we'll kind of see what happens here. Oh, very risky shot there by Spoon. He's so showing a gentle, gentleman right there. That's a good shot by Spoon to lunge through that. Oh, too floaty. Can't stay up. Misa will track you up in the sky. And that's going to be 10-6. That's a good game. I believe Miso's the one who recorded this, so we didn't get to see Spoon's perspective. But that was a good attempt by Spoon to hold off a very... Advanced use of red, very quick, low jumping by Miso. Um, great match of Spoon, great win, Miso. And with that, we'll go to the next one. Peace.